was the morning of 27 September 2014 when 12 Goan bird watchers and photographers met in Malin Jetty on the Mandovi River near Panjim and boarded the fishing vessel Felicia for Goa's first pelagic trip. Goa Birds Conservation Network, a local birding group that arranged permission from captain of port, custom and other bureaucratic authorities rented this vessel and organized this trip. A second trip was organized for the next day and the photographs in this film are from both trips. After eating their breakfast, the crew was ready to sail. We left Malin Jetty and cruised along the Mandovi River with Panjim City on our left side with its Portuguese colonial buildings and the semi-legal casino boards with their fascinating designs. We passed Reese Marcos, one of Goa's heritage sites and Hotel Marriott before we entered the open sea as we passed Fort Aguada. Not far from the coast, we encountered some coastal birds, mainly gulls and terns and some raptors that hunt in the sea. For most of us, it was the first time we boarded a fishing vessel and the first time at sea. The waves were high and the boat shook from side to side and it was difficult to stand still. Those that did not take seasickness pills in time suffered greatly. Fortunately, Omkar was not affected from seasickness and kept on guard for birds while the rest of us were glued to their chairs half sleeping. It was not long before he spotted dark turns that looked to us like sooty but the photos confirmed them to be bridal turns and we quickly realized that without photos it is nearly impossible to identify birds. As the boat was shaking, video shots were not very effective. So in editing this film, we used photographs of the birds. The study of pelagic birds off the coast of India is the most neglected subject of ornithology in the country. Until 2010, only surveys from the coast using telescope were conducted. During the 1990s, Heinz Liner did the most serious study off the coast of Goa and discovered a migration route of white-cheeked and roseate terns parallel to the coastline. Heinz also found out that in some years, shearwaters and storm petrels join this migration and in others, they are nearly absent. Birds blown ashore by monsoon winds, mainly boobies and frigate birds were the other indicator of what is going on at sea. It was only four years ago that a dedicated group of bird watchers based in Bangalore started to conduct surveys at sea. Most expeditions went off the coast of Kerala and South Karnataka. Up to date, a total of 17 expeditions, totaling 27 sea days, have been conducted in the Arabian Sea and Bay of Bengal from 11 different points, covering almost all months of the year. After lunch, the sea calmed and our condition improved greatly. We realized that the seabirds do not come near a fishing trawler if it is only carrying tourists, so we directed the captain to follow other fishing boats. Apart from many bridal turns that are on migration during the season, there is not much of pelagic bird activity in the Arabian Sea. However, for first-timers, the chance to see birds that only appear in the field guide and for photographers, the chance to get very close to birds perching on debris that float on the sea is very exciting. Apart from dozens of bridal terns, we saw a few skoas, arctic and pomerane, a Wilson storm petrel, a Persian shearwater, which was the rarity of the day. 
But the most exciting of all was a pair of masked boobies sitting on a floating banana tree. It was nearly sunset when we reached back to Port and Malay. By then, everybody forgot that they were seasick in the morning. The bird watchers were taking their lifers and the photographers checking their shots. As we got off Felicia, we watched the catch of the day of other fishing trawlers. Some of us will maybe never go on sea again, but most are looking forward to the next trip.